I was very thankful for that. So yeah, that was good. Is. Okay. The wolf. Before we play some Fortnite yeah, rounds, so just I just want to hear what they have to say. It's just a quick, uh, like three, four, five, five minutes, four minutes about uh. Hit a couple things at the top. Aiden, Aiden Ross, uh, his transphobic comments the other day. Let's just see what they have to say. Aiden told you to kill yourself. That was cute. That was funny. Hey, I want to. So just to hit a couple things at the top. Aiden told you to kill yourself. Yep. That was Aiden cute. did tell Hassan to do that. Yes, he did. That was funny. Yeah. Um. He also. Today but we everything they're gonna talk about now. I don't know if they're gonna involve train wrecks in this conversation, but Aiden was banned from Kick. For how long we don't know, but he was he was moderated for his hate speech. Hopefully that keeps happening. And uh, they, they get the fucking Nazi bigots trans off of people. Kick. My pronouns are. So it becomes a good competitor I saw, to Twitch. I haven't like seen the full so clip, everybody but on I Twitch think he will was, do better. What was he? He was looking at like it was a middle school teacher talking about her her. Uh, fringe pronouns. Was that's video that's video. cool, man. That's nice. That that my, was. He says my pronouns are kill them. He is such a he's such a little edgy teen, like going through his four chan phase, like mm -hmm. but in front of thousands of people. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah. By the way, that that hairline is not looking hot. Like that thing is <laughs> gone back. Dude, hey, don't you know come after, I'm don't saying? go after Ethan. They, you know they, what I mean? go <laughs> they go you to Dan. They go to Dan, the producer. Seems noticeably. <laughs> Every, every time flash frame to me it, it's um, just a fact in my the bad hairline. every time he drops yeah, another fat me. rope at his sister like i said <laughs> these kind of pronouns are fringe it's not many people are using them if you think this is an actual issue that's coming for you you're just dumb and brain broken and you're you're probably just like like subject to like like propaganda like that that's it um but even if you like recognize these kinds of pronouns and you're like this is weird or this is cringe Okay, you can have that opinion, but the moment that somebody asks you to refer to them as something and you say no and you refuse to, you're just an asshole. Just be a, a good, a nice person and refer to somebody how they want to be referred to. Even if you think they sound crazy, just refer to them how they want. Because other than that, you're just an asshole. He's like losing another. <laughs> like a lot of these pronouns are like way too out there for me to where I'm not going to learn them probably. But if somebody came to me and was like, yo, call me this, I will. And I like, I might mess up on accident where I might misgender or whatever on accident and like that's okay as long as you're doing it on accident and you're like trying to correct yourself you know if anybody gets mad at you for accidentally like uh doing that then that's like kind of them just being in the wrong he's they, losing like, another understanding of, of like that but oh, shit. Penny. Penny. this is like he's such like, like fringe like stuff that like so oh accidentally jerked not off even to in, his like, sister thing. again fuck so cringe bro so to all you guys that get to pick your pronouns my pronouns is kill slash them okay that's literally like violence to the trans community right there but that's not really funny because i mean people are like wanting to kill them yeah yeah what well, that does when he says that is that emboldens those freaks in his chat who are actually gonna go commit violence which is like makes that super crazy thing to say. The weirdest part about this that I find particularly fascinating is that like he's saying this, but like, is he ideologically genuinely motivated to like actually kill trans people? I don't think so. I think no. he, and what's really important, all. and this is not a defense of Aiden Ross in any way, shape or form. This is more so a criticism of the structure itself that like in entertainment, anti-trans rhetoric is so popular that even if you're not transphobic originally or don't give a shit or haven't really thought it through you can lean into that kind of rhetoric as violently as possible like he has thus far like he's doing currently specifically to gain clout and prominence through uh, some of the more right-wing circles That's that is what's yeah. truly fascinating about this is that like someone as stupid as aiden ross who hasn't even been like ideologically motivated to like be angry at trans people in the same way that like fascists like Matt Walsh are, uh, uh, fascists like Matt Walsh or you know the, the those over the Daily Wire are. Um, he will still repeat that like a toddler. He's winking to them. I, I'm, yeah, I he will repeat yeah. those talking points like a fucking toddler with with diminished brain capacity, so that you know uh, he will be welcomed uh, by this audience. Well, that's don't know I why mean, they yeah. think this is a big audience. To be fair, his folks are like tater tots, so it makes sense. He's pandering to them. Sorry. But okay, as we're uh, have about thirty minutes left, let's talk about our yep. main story He's here. Trump and I, th finally. I think it's also like he. I I hundred percent agree, and I also think it's because 
his opinions on things have lost him friends. And the only people that are willing to be his friends now are those that share those same opinions with him. Um, who was it just recently? There was some fucking freak that wanted to like be a part of like the liberal circle again. I just saw this and they were like, it was like, no, like you're like, your opinions are horrible. And they're like, why don't you just accept me? Who was this? I just heard of this this morning before I went to bed. At long I last, I forget. I'll saying to Trump's back, baby. But like all of them, all of Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder, all of these guys are just f like failed artists, failed writers, failed musicians who wanted to be in the liberal arts circles, but their opinions pushed them out. And they're like, what? I'm all alone now. And then they just only have friends that share their same horrible opinion. He had his first campaign rally today. Okay, yeah, we're not going to get into this. We're done. We're done talking about this stuff now. Um, we've talked about the Aiden shit to no end the past, like, three days. And uh, I think it's good that Trainwrecks finally banned him. Um, it was crazy that Trainwrecks was trying to backtrack and say, yeah, he was wrong, but the people that are criticizing him are wrong, too. Like, no, no, that's not the case, Train. But, uh... But it, it's good that he was at least banned. Hopefully it's for more than a day, though. <laughs> Hopefully it's not just, oh, you got a blowjob on my website? Yeah, you're banned for a day. But, uh, hey, kick, I got a hand job on Twitch, and he didn't get banned, so. There's that. Um, it was just his leg, though. Just his leg. Could have been. It could have been. It could have been, you know. All right, let's play some Fortnite. And I just want to say, like I always say, whenever I'm criticizing Kick, the people on there, it's never any of the homies that are going over there trying to like capitalize on like the like the viewership you could get and things like that of going over to that platform. I'm only criticizing the people at the top that are perpetuating this like bullshit and the, the bigotry and oh, like Aiden allowing a neo-Nazi on his website on his stream every other day to spew anti-Semitic hate. Like I'm, like, that's what I'm criticizing. And the reason I'm criticizing it is not because I want Kick to fail. I want it to thrive. I want it to become a website that, like, I would feel comfortable going over and streaming on and bringing my community over there. Um, but right now, I just don't. And I, most, a lot of people feel the same exact way. You've got to get rid of the Nazis and the porn to minors. After. Um, but that's only criticizing the people at the top doing that shit. No, I'm not saying anything about any of the homies. I, I, I respect the grind, you know. But, uh... The only way that shit's gonna go is if there are vocal critics. Like me. And not, like, saying I have any power to do that. But the more people talking about it and criticizing it, the more Trainwrecks is gonna be like, Okay, fine, I'll ban Aiden for that. So. Um, Alright, let's open up some Fortnite. I'm not one of these people out here that just like, like whenever like say somebody like a streamer does something wrong, like I'm never like preying on anybody's downfall when we like cover this kind of stuff. It's like literally, because I want things to be better. That's it. Sometimes I'm preying on people's down. You know, there's some people like Trump. I'm cool with him when he got COVID. I was like, yeah, let's go, baby, take him out. There's things like that, or of course, but uh, when it comes to a platform like Kick, I literally see the potential that it could have if it became an actual competitor to Twitch, and then Twitch wasn't able to do whatever it wants with its creators. Um. All right, who's joining up? Ramen, if it's too late for you, I understand. If it's too late for anybody, I don't, I don't mind doing some solo games.